A very good morning and thank you for waking up to Sunrise at Sea here on CTV. Welcome to our wellness, beauty and lifestyle segment. My name is Aggie Oase and today we are tapping into the aspect of physical wellness which is very important for everyone's life and more specifically we are talking about athletes and injuries, how they can be mitigated, everything that you need to know about that will definitely be bringing it to you in this segment and joining me at the center of this conversation to give us more insight in regard to athletes and injuries that come with all that is none other than Mr. Gabriel Isaac Otuk, who is a sports health specialist as well as the founder of FHNS. And this is Fitness, Health, Nutrition and a Sports Center as well. Good morning and thank you so much for joining us on Sunrise this morning. Good morning. Well, as a health practitioner and uh, to be more specific, a sports health entrepreneur, how would you talk about sports health? What does it mean and what does it entail? Yeah, uh, sports health is uh, it's, it's a broad concept, but it's um, mostly about uh, um, uh, the, the act of uh, making sure that uh, athletes are good enough uh, and able to perform uh, to their optimum uh, performance. Yes. And then also uh, for those who sustain uh, any kind of uh, trauma, in, in case they do sustain that kind of trauma, they are taking through uh, proper recovery protocols and mm -hmm. uh, manage well so that they can represent their teams properly. Yes, absolutely. So I'd like to, before we get into the part of injuries, why sports health? Being a medical practitioner, I mean, you could have chosen any other field. Why did you choose to focus on sports health? Yeah, um, as, a, as a medical practitioner, uh, me personally, I do specialize in orthopedics and uh, sports medicine. And uh, also, uh, I've done programs in uh, sports science and public health. Yeah. But uh, the main reason why uh, I've, I've been uh, looking at uh, certain trends in uh, Afri the African sports industry so the African sports industry is a, it's a developing uh, industry and mm -hmm. uh, can be worth uh, a, a billion dollar industry like how uh, other industries in the West are. Uh, but um, most of our sports stakeholders, both uh, in the private sector and then also in the government, they've uh, been doing a lot of work in developing structures. Mm -hmm. And then the beauty is that we already have the available talent but now, health, which is a fundamental truth to, to doing anything for as a human being, is uh, something that uh, is a frontier that hasn't been ventured into so, so well. Mm. And uh, that's why, uh, as a health entrepreneur, I decided to get into that, uh, that uh, frontier so that I can be a great health worker. Hmm. Or maybe you are you're passionate about sports, and you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, definitely, that's uh, one of the things that I've been doing since I was a young child. I've uh, played multi sports uh, from soccer up to now. Actually, I still run and uh, I do train with uh, Olympic athletes like Ronald Musa. So yeah. it's, it's quite amazing. Sports is, is my passion. Okay, now let's let's bring it back home in Uganda. What are some of those sports or you know sports teams that you have worked with in Uganda? Yeah, so uh, FHNS itself, FHNS is a brand. It's a company which is run as a brand, and uh, under the brand uh, we have subsidiary companies which are six. Uh, so one of them is uh, FHNS Sports Med, which is a service uh, sports medicine service provider. So sport, uh, FHNS Sports Med has, uh, has uh, worked with uh, a number of uh, sports teams in uh, basketball. So mm -hmm. teams like uh, Kampala Capital City Authority, uh, you look at uh, athletes in uh, university teams like Uganda Christian University, uh, Tropical Royals, and then you go to uh, Rugby, Stanbeek, uh, Black Pirates, mm -hmm. they are actually our partners in the rugby field. But of course, uh, different rugby athletes uh, do for South Rivers. And then uh, you go to volleyball, a number of teams from Sportes, uh, Mkumba, KCB, Mkumba University, they are our partners as well, and they do have a local in their jersey. Hmm. Uh, if you go to netball as well, so, and we do not only stop with teams, we do work with uh, uh, institutions of uh, learning, like uh, universities. So currently, Indigenous universities in Tunisia are uh, taking part in the Africa Women uh, Club, Volleyball Club Championship. 
and uh, it's our team that is uh, making sure that their athletes are healthy and mm. taken care of. But also federations as well have benefited from our services because uh, I personally am the president for the medical commission for volleyball and uh, also the team doctor for the national basketball team for Uganda. Mm. But also I do collaborate with uh, the Uganda Kingdom for their, uh, for their sports medical commission. Okay, that's very commendable work there. Um, so now let's step into our, and that is injuries in regard to athletes. So I'd like, I'd like you to give us, you know, an overview of what injuries entail, how they can be mitigated, yeah. you know, yes, in regard to athletes. Yeah, a sports injuries, it's, um, uh, injuries are definitely, you know, it's, it's all part of sports. Uh, they, they are, there are occurrences that uh, do affect uh, athlete performance, mm. but uh, they, they take place, they, 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 they come as a result of uh, different situations. Because uh, we have injuries that we call acute injuries, and those are injuries that uh, occur uh, when an athlete hasn't had them before. And then uh, we have uh, chronic injuries, so those are overuse injuries. So recently we just concluded uh, a sports medicine clinic uh, with uh, a group of friends from uh, the United States and Canada. Mm -hmm. We got to find out that most athletes in, uh, in African sports do have overuse injuries. And that is because uh, of uh, uh, lack of proper management protocols when they do sustain uh, simple injuries or even acute injuries themselves. But uh, the management protocol for an athlete to be uh, to totally recover and return back to play, it's quite a comprehensive uh, area which uh, hasn't been ventured into so well because uh, there have been no uh, proper people that athletes can go to when they need medical care. Hmm. So now let's, um, in Uganda, how has that been handled? Do you think that to what extent do you think that that has, has been handled, especially when it comes to, let's talk about the national teams, even other, you know, private teams. Do you think this is something that has been handled a little bit more lightly than it should have? Yeah, I, well, I, 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 I have to uh, be honest, uh, the Ugandan sports, like uh, any kind of African sports, is uh, still developing. So some of those structures are not uh, put so much into consideration by uh, the stakeholders of these teams. But uh, definitely uh, also the manpower, I mean uh, the competent manpower that should be available to help these uh, athletes, these great athletes that we know have, has been, uh, hasn't been there. But uh, right now there's, uh, there's room for development and I think uh, with the good, with the good work that uh, FHNS is doing, I think uh, we are doing quite a tremendous progress. Hmm. So now uh, let's go into because earlier you didn't talk, you only talked about acute injuries and yeah. then, but you didn't really tell us what this entails. And also, would love to know what are the treatment options that are available for you know anyone, any athlete who gets these kinds of injuries. Oh yeah, so. Um, so depending on, uh, you know, injuries are also, whether acute or chronic injuries, they are graded. Mm. So and uh, any kind of management protocol depends on the grade. I, by grade, I mean uh, the severity of the case. Mm. So some, some injuries are simple, others are moderate in terms of complexity, mm. and then others are so complex. Mm. Now, uh, in most cases, we look at um, uh, conservative therapy, there's what we call conservative therapy, which involves uh, uh, prescribing exercises, uh, those are uh, rehabilitation exercises, and then uh, there are those cases that uh, definitely if an acute injury takes place, they will have to be uh, that initial care offered to the athlete before they even see a specialist. Or in case the specialist is there, there's that initial management that is offered to the athlete, mm -hmm. and then a management uh, protocol is put in place. But again, there are some cases which are severe and uh, would require, let's say, a surgical approach. So if an athlete, uh, let's say, injured their knee, 
Of course, in the knee we have uh, a number of ligaments uh, that do stabilize the knee. We have uh, the athletes who have sustained uh, anterior cruciate ligament injuries. There are those ones who have sustained uh, meniscus uh, injuries. But the treatment protocol for all those cases, even the ankle joints, uh, recently we had a case of uh, an Achilles tendon tear. Hmm. In some of most of those cases, their management protocol depends on the grade of the presentation. But uh, to determine the grade, one of the things that uh, we've been solving a lot is uh, dealing with the issue of uh, proper referrals, proper examination, and then sending an athlete for imaging that would enable us to make proper or wise decisions on the management protocol for the athlete. Well, that winds up what we had for you here in our wellness, beauty and lifestyle. And we were talking about physical wellness and more specifically, we're tapping into the aspect of injuries in regard to athletes. And we were joined by Mr. Gabriel Isaac Otuk, who is a sports health entrepreneur, as well as the founder of FNH. And that is what we had for you this morning. Keep watching Sunrise at Sea and don't blink.